The Granger House is located at 970 10th Street, Marion, Iowa. The original two rooms of the home, built in 1848, were incorporated into the main Victorian Italianate house built around 1860 by Charles Myers. Earl Granger bought the house in 1876, and it remained in his family until 1973. Earl built the carriage house in 1879 and an addition onto the main house the following year. With his partnership in the Granger and Howe Company, the leading meat market and slaughterhouse firm in Marion, Earl was one of the wealthiest men in the area. Several deaths occurred in the home, including three of the Granger children. Five-year-old Mabel and three-year-old Wesley died from diphtheria within three days of each other in 1879. Daughter Louise, an accomplished pianist, died in the home in 1881 at the age of 14 from complications of the measles. We also found a report of the 1905 death of Mary Elizabeth Albright, who committed suicide in the basement of the home. We're not sure how she is connected to the family. Mrs. Granger, Dora, also died in the home of natural causes in February 1937. Volunteers of the museum and visitors have reported the sounds of children running on the second floor, seeing shadows peeking around corners, and hearing a young girl singing. The sounds of piano notes being played is also claimed to be heard. We investigated the Granger home and carriage house in July 2019. We were unsuccessful in contacting Arthur and Alfred, the two Granger children who lived to adulthood but are believed to haunt the house. We did spend some time in the carriage house, but the spirits didn't seem willing to communicate with us. Can you tell us which one of the Granger family is here with us? Later, while we were inside the house, they were willing to identify themselves. Can you tell us the men that are out in the carriage house? Who's out, who's out in the carriage house? Most of the activity centered around the dining room. During our first EVP session, we heard what we believed to be piano notes being played. What is that noise? It sounded like the piano. Much later, during our final portal session of the evening, it appeared we made contact with someone connected to suicide victim Mary Albright. While the name Ellen Gordon Mason is clearly pronounced, we have not found her connection to the story. Do very many people ask about you when they come? When they come here to visit? Article said that she slit her throat, uh, blood to death in the basement. And her family came looking for her and found her. This is all right. Can you stay here at the home? And finally, while using the SLS camera, we captured a figure sitting on the sofa in the parlor. Hello. Oh, hello. Would you like for us to sit and talk with you? We're happy to do so. I didn't mean to, to frighten you or invade your space. The Granger House is one of the most well-preserved historic homes we have investigated. Whether you visit for the spirits or the history, it's worth the trip.